Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have an awesome creativity over here on Minecraft. I have been getting tired and tired of always having rotten flesh in my inventory. Spider eyes, string, because I promised you we have a full chest of string. And then dirt and granite, things that I'm not going to need anymore that I already have saved in the chest. Every time I try to throw them out, it always pops back or it's just laying around. Today, Mr. Ernesto is going to teach me how to make a trash can in my home where i can easily dispose of things that i do not want anymore so if you've been trying to find a more simple efficient way to get rid of all those junk that's in your inventory but you don't want to put it in your chest we got you right here make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe all right guys here are the items that you need to create the trash crate. you're gonna need a red comparator a bucket of lava a hopper redstone torch two repeaters two observers and one dropper and then you're gonna need is either some stone but you can also use dirt you just need a couple of extra of those so i just brought a stack with me you can do this you don't have to but that way you don't get confused with any other crates go ahead and take your crate put a name tag on it and then you name it trash I did put my chest on top. I wanted it out with all the other crates. I've seen some people put it in the wall, put it in the ground. So it's really your preference. Just follow the steps of what goes underneath it next. If you are going to have your crate on top, just like me in this video, you need to dig three blocks down. You're going to have your hopper underneath, your observer, and then the bucket of lava. If you're going to have your trash in the ground, then you, of course you need to dig three underneath that. Now that you pickaxe three blocks down, down you want to turn around where you're standing you want to dig another three blocks down and then do one more additional one there after you dig that fourth block down go ahead and stand in it you're going to turn around and face back of where your trash can is going to go now on the third block up on top you want to place a stone there place the dropper the black hole to be facing downwards if it's facing at you or any other direction it's wrong make sure it's facing down this one's a little tricky just follow my step right underneath your feet build up two blocks turn around pickaxe two blocks that are your head level and at your body level and then i want you to walk where you just picked that pickaxe one block down underneath where your feet was then you should see two spaces then you're going to place a bucket of lava right underneath the hopper you're going to go ahead and put the block down in front of you so that's for when you throw out all your stuff it's going to drop through that hopper and the hopper is going to spit it into the lava standing in front of the hopper you're going to look left pickaxe two blocks one two one two and turn right and you're going to dig two more spaces here's the tricky part after you go up two spaces you want to turn to the right you want to pickaxe one stone at the bottom and then you want to look to the left and then pickaxe another stone there after you pickaxe those stone you want to go ahead and place your observers here you want to make sure you hit the back wall of the stone with the observer so that way it's facing you the red dot should be facing in your direction place another one there so it should be observer observer what you want to do now is in front of you pickaxe those two stones until you can see the observer that is on your right hand side pickaxe the observer here's why you want to tunnel in a little bit until you can turn around and have the observer face you again what you want you want the back pieces facing each other until you can hear a click 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 that's why we tunnel in the stones in front of us that way we can get into a better position so we can realign that observer that's behind the first one go ahead and fill in that area that you just dug into until you get back to the dropper now if you want check out the dropper place anything in there you should be able to see that it is going to be depositing that item into the lava now the next step is dig two spaces to the right of the hopper and then do another to the left to get to the right side of the hopper place one block down you want to hang the redstone torch on the side of it once you place it you should stop hearing the observers clicking after you place the redstone torch in front of the dropper place your back towards the dropper grab your red comparator and you want to look down hop and place it right underneath your feet the one single dot should be pointing away from you and then you want to put a block in front of you so once you have that block in front of you you want to walk up to the block and you want to look to the left and you want to take the repeater and then place it there you want the two switches facing the block to the left look at the block to the right of redstone torch break the block and place the repeater and you want to make the switches of the repeater to be closest to the redstone so you'll have to squeeze right next to that block so that way you can place the repeater in the correct position fill up the top of the block
block except for above the redstone make sure you place a slab there break the stone above the dropper and then place the hopper on top once you test that out and that is complete you can go ahead and place your chest right above the hopper and that is it you are all set if you guys enjoyed this if you did don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button i hope i was able to help you enough with this tutorial and if you want more please comment below what you guys want to see more i'll see you guys later bye